Now let's talk about proper box entry. This is considered figure one alpha. So if you look down here on the ground, we have the aerobatic box, right, and tapes. Judges are gonna be on Miss America's side. So right now the wind is coming from judges left to right. So how I'm posing right here and how all of you guys are seeing it are right to left right now. And we also, let's say we have some wind that's pushing us away from the judges, for example, for today. So we're going to put all this into our, our mindset here, this box entry. So you want to enter the box at a base. And you want to do a seatbelt check because that's what the big dogs do. That's what Ron's been telling me. So we'll do a seatbelt check. It's also for its purpose, too. It's a good safety check. Make sure your seatbelt's good. Make sure you don't have any loose items in the cockpit. All right, so where do you position? Every aircraft's different. When I'm flying my pits, I'm pretty much right here on the box edge. Also, depending on wind. If I'm getting shoved really fast off to, to um, downwind side, then I might want to come in a little bit more. But for the most part, a starting point for me is right on the edge of the box. My seatbelt check takes about a half of a box length. So depending on where wind's pushing me, that's where I'm going to judge it about a half a box length. Now in today's example, saying that the wind's pushing us away from the judges, so I may wait until I'm actually at corner point here. So I'm going to do my seatbelt check. I should be at my altitude, which you want to be about 1,500 feet before your, um, or higher than what your start altitude is. So I'm going to go ahead and roll, do my seatbelt check, roll. Wait there for a second, roll back upright, everything's good. I'm going to want to position myself, I'm getting pushed away in this example I'm giving. I'm going to actually want to position myself. closer to the judges. A heavy wind, I might actually be all the way on the line. Maybe let's say I'll go center for this one. In between center and, and the judges. Now from here, where do you want to aim? You want to aim so that you start your first maneuver right along your center point. So you want to aim just barely in front of that. So if I'm centering my screen in the pits, I'm aiming here. Think, you're going to do a 45 degree dive. If you're losing 1,500 feet, that means you're traveling 1,500 feet. Box is 3,300 feet, so you're going to actually be somewhere around center point where you're pointing. Come in nice and hard in the pits. I'm actually starting this about 80 knots, 1,500 feet above start altitude, and coming in for my dive. The wing wags. I got my hand here. You should always do a wing wag towards with the, the top of your wing towards the judges, 90 degrees. I'm going to do three wing wags and then start your maneuver. If you're not full power, this is when full power should be applied. Full power, level, brief second, go right into your first maneuver, start in center stage. I'm gonna flip this around and talk through a couple more points as well. 